have a problem if no one else can help and if you can find them maybe you can watch the vt what up son word yeah to all the killers and the hundred dollar billers yeah, for real, because who ain't got no feelings? Feelings. Just watch my back. I got your friend. Check it out now. We are live. Welcome to episode 31 of the Vape Team, where unsupported and outright false statistics like, I don't know, 99 cigarettes equal one vape, perhaps. We also provide uneducated and completely biased religious and political views. Sometimes on occasion we provide some epic insights and vape discussions. So welcome back. How is everybody tonight? With me as usual, I have Mikey motherfucking vapes. What's up? And the man with the plan, not to be confused with Mr. T, BK Barakas. What up, peeps? How's everyone out there doing tonight? I see you're still in the slave dungeon, BK. Nice. She won't let me leave. <laughs> oh, so you're the one. Nice. <laughs> so, I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a little bit of coffee. It's been a busy vape afternoon for for this for this guy. So I'm just settling down. Nice. How is everybody in the room tonight? You can't respond, but you can type. So welcome everybody from fellow vapers from around the world. Um, welcome to the vape team. We're glad to have you. We've got a great show planned for tonight. Mike has been working on an agenda all week long. So thank you, Mike. BK, was it you that's supposed to do it? What? what? Is anyone listening? What's the agenda? You never informed us about yeah. an agenda. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's called a mic gender. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe it was a gender. I, I don't know. Anyway. You guys talking about my nutsack? There's going to be nutsack talk. There's going to be medical opinions about the dangers of vaping. How many cigarettes equal a vape? There's going to be so much glorious you're driving stuff. Me, you're driving me to drink. Hold up. I don't know. Something about you. Drives I'll me drink to that. that. Of course you will, BK. Of course you will. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Brian? I'm just saying it doesn't take much to drive you to drink, buddy. <laughs> now, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I didn't. I'm not implying anything. I love you. Yeah, you're implying stuff. <laughs> well, why don't we do this? Why don't we start off with what we're vaping, and uh, and I'll start because that's the way things have been going lately. Is that cool? Yes. Mike asked me if we could extend the show 30 minutes tonight because he's got a lot to talk about in his buffet. So, well, here we go. What am I vaping? I'm vaping on the East, the uh, Lost Vape e Who's going to say eScribe? <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm vaping on the eScribe software. I've, I've uh, <laughs> taken the flavorings from Evolve and uh, put it in a VG liquid. No, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, vaping on the eFusion. You know, I think I need to get tested for Alzheimer's because I hashtag forget that shit on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle's real, bro. I think you need a drink. I think you might be right, BK. I think drinking might be the solution. So yeah, it's I'm based on that. Solution. It is. It is. It is the solution. So I have the Stro Mini RDA on this beautiful little carbon fiber. I wish I had a black one, motherfucking Mike. Uh, sent to me from Wet Vapes even though Mike gets all the black shit sent to him because he probably sent somebody a letter and asked for all the black stuff. Not everybody knows I like Murdered Out editions. Oh, and, and, and I don't like Murdered Out editions? I guess, I'm, I, I guess anyway, I'm, not, I'm not Mikey motherfucking vapes. I got the gold, though, kid. I got the no, gold. No, that is that is pretty dope. Now, you see, I should have had the gold with the twisted messes, gold yeah. and black. Yeah. Well, you Bang. know that 
That's that's, all that's right. why Raj sent it to me. Yeah. Pretty soon I'll be getting the purple. You know? <laughs> and Raj, yeah. With a single Miss Kitty sticker on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be getting the hot pink Hello Kitty edition. All right, we're interrupting your buffet. Continue. I don't care, Mike. I won't interrupt your buffet because I have something called R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Go ahead. Oh, I'm ready. Find out what it means to me. I can't spell, so fuck it. Second to me, second to me, second to me. All right, so we have the white with red cherry on top drip tip. Evic VTC Mini. A little bit of uh, some sort of a liquid. Oh, this is the... Nope, that's not it. Custard de Leche from Adore, which I've been really enjoying this. Tasty, tasty, tasty. I also am vaping on the brand new Wismec. And if you want to know what that is... It's the Rollo, or as Mike refers to it, the Rollo. Right, Mike? Nah. You know the funny part was, in my video, well, you said right, Mike, so I'm answering, interrupting your buffet again. But in my video, I butchered the name on purpose just to see how many, and I even said watch all the teachers try and correct me, and they did, and they fell for it. I know the name of it. All right. I like playing games. So anyway, what else you got in your buffet? You ever play shoots and ladders, Mike? No. No. You're not missing anything, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, in my buffet. Oh, I discovered something pretty sweet today. I'm going to call it my fucking milkman because half milkman, half my man, and it is tasty, man. 50 50 mix of my man and milkman. It's the shit. That's what I'm vaping. That's my weak ass, you know, pick a number between one and ten casino buffet. That's it. That's all I got. BK? Well, it's gonna be real quick for me. All I have tonight is the uh, the E Fusion. Little DNA two hundred guy. All Gold. he has. It's all I have. I sold the rest of my mods for crack. <laughs> a gold E Fusion is epic balls epic, BK. No, actually, I was also vaping on the Coupor tonight with uh, the OBS Creus, but that's sitting up in the kitchen next to the sink. I totally forgot about it. But I vaped that all night. And uh, all day I was vaping this and that. Really, that's it. And I've been vaping on this stuff. You people out there that are looking for some budget e-juice that is really, really fucking good, look at Black Hat Vapors, okay? I think these bottles are like 20 or 30 bucks for 120 mLs. Um, this one here, this is very much like Infamous Trill, except smoother and better. Mikey tried it. Yeah, I can vouch um, for it because I tried it. It was good. This other stuff I have here, this is um, this is called Straight to the Punch. This is by Voluptuous Vapors, another good local PA company. This stuff is Hawaiian Punch, delicious, and it's like right on the money. <sighs> That's it. A's buffet. Actually, I'm vaping on the original 454 Big Block RDA. Nice. That's all I got. Nice. I, it was wonderful. M Mike, it's all you, buddy. Before I uh, announce my buffet here, I want to give a shout out to Mercury Vapor. Today is his five year vapor. Vapor. Uh, vapor. Vaporversary. I can't say it right, but Vaporversary, whatever, however you want to call it. It's Vape Anniversary. So, uh, yes, congratulations, uh, Mercury Vapor. Good it's actually getting close to Mike's anniversary. the first time he ever had anal sex. Yes. <laughs> Very close. So, uh, what am I vaping? Whew. All right, we've got the next 20 minutes for me now. Uh, <laughs> I'm vaping on the Boxer DNA 200 with uh, the Fishbone RDA. I got uh, almost the BK build in here. With some uh, some of this stuff, Vapor City Sauce Strawberry Yogurt. It's called the Ban Wagon Juice. Good stuff. I actually picked this up. I actually picked up two bottles at the Vape Expo we were at, and uh, I should have tried. I wish I tried that uh, Black Hat vape, that uh, juice that you're vaping. I would have got a bottle. Of that. 
because I tasted it. Actually, I tasted that juice when uh, after I left. Actually, driving home, I actually stopped at Steel Vapor and met up with uh, BK at his vape shop that he hangs out at. So shout out to Steel Vapor, great shop. That place is awesome. That's a beautiful place, BK. I'm jealous. Yeah, it is. You understand nice. why I'm there like almost every night. That's a nice shop. They even got food set up in there for everybody that hangs out to eat food, and it's just beautiful. What nice kind of food? food. So they had actually, when I was there, they were setting up uh, steam tables with food and stuff. They do that <laughs> for the football games. Like little neck steamers and shit? Yeah. yeah, they always they always do that on Sunday nights and sometimes on Mondays as well for football. It's great. It's a great place to go watch a game, hang out. Even if you don't buy anything, they don't care. I mean, as long as you're hanging out and having a good time. Sure. DK, why don't I drive up with Zero Nick and Michael meet us up there and we'll watch an Eagles game at Steel Vapor for a night game? You should. Eagles you game? should. Everyone, everyone's an Eagles fan except me. I don't want to watch the Eagles. <laughs> you and Mike can go in the bathroom and have fun with each other while we watch a real team play. Real team? Mike, don't <sighs> anyway, even go there. Next the item on the buffet... <laughs> By the way, I'd like to congratulate the New York Giants for getting their ass kicked last weekend. Go ahead, Mike. Are you done interrupting? Yes, I'm sorry. You were interrupting me. I'm interrupting you. Well, you asked me a question. There's fucking crickets. That's what happened. Right, I'm done with my buffet. <laughs> I'm ready. Hands off. Okay. All right, I'm also vaping on the the Rolo, the Raylo, the Ruli, the Rulo from Wismic with the Vengeance sub -home tank. And in here I got some Custard de Leche. And I'm also vaping on the E-Fusion Murdered Out Edition with the Mike Vapes tank. And in here I got Strawzilla's Milk. Ah, God. Yeah. Missing out on this one here. Good stuff. And uh, OBS Creus with the uh, Tesla Nano with some Kilo Juice, Keyberry Yogurt, Hot Sick DNA 200 with uh, Bellis RTA. And here I got Philip Rock Strawberry Milk or Strawberry Ice Cream. And uh, the last one on a buffet that I'm using is the Twisted Messes RDA. On a limitless mechanical mod with some uh, element uh, freshly squeezed. Whew. That was a mouthful. That's it. Well, yeah, I got more, but I'm um, not moved. So you're basically vaping the Bellas with the fellas. <laughs> All right. All righty then. So I think it would be only fair for you to divvy up that large bottle of Jewess. And yeah, I was planning on giving some to BK. Yes. Oh, you're a good heart, Mike. Yeah, only you. you, buddy. Love you, man. Love you, man. BK. I love you too, Brian. Full homo. <laughs> what did you call us, bromos? Yeah, bromos. I love That's what bromos. We are. Nice. All right. Well, on the agenda this evening, I'm sure we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about some DNA 200 devices, if that would be agreeable with the homies. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do have a question. Uh, Mike Vapes would might know this, might not. I know a lot of people in both of our videos have been asking questions about, you know, how the eScribe software um, lists the batteries in the ah, 1850s. Answer. And I knew you could. That's why I bring it here for you. So hit me up. What's going on with the batteries in this? Right. This is a good one because I've been getting a lot of questions on it. And uh, I didn't really talk about the batteries and that on the video for this because technically that was just a first look video for this device. I will be doing a full review on it. But uh, with the batteries, the reason why, I'm going to start from the beginning kind of. The reason why eScribe doesn't uh, have uh, the software set up for your battery is because 
it can't predict what device you're buying. So that's basically a lot of people don't understand why it's not set up. They don't know because there's 900, there's 1,000, there's 1,100, 1,300, 50. There's a whole bunch of different milliamp hour of batteries. So you have to set up to what uh, device you have, milliamp hours. In the eScribe, there's a calculator in there that all you got to do is put your uh, milliamp hours in it. And if you have a three cell battery, it's, it'll be on three cell. Now, for example, with the. Uh, you, you don't know what just happened. <laughs> we lost shit. I just we got lost a domino it. effect on the whole buffet. Mod dominoes, anyone? Wow. <laughs> and I just sat there and watched that shit. Watch that shit. So, anyway, um, where was I? For example, this boxer, which is two batteries, uh, it's going to be under two cell. So, the way you would figure out your watt hours on this is your battery. So, each battery of mine in here are these are 2,500 milliamp hour batteries. So, I would put 2,500, the same way you would put your what your lipo pack would be, let's say for example 1300. I'm just going to list one of these batteries, 2500 for two cell. Now, when it comes down to your, uh, if you have like this, I well, Brian basically, uh, for this item here, what you would do here is, because there's three batteries, and I'm using right now the Samsungs, these are the greenies, they're 2500 milliamp hour so I use the 2500 milliamp hour three cell and the watt hours comes out to like 27 point something watt hours which is great now if you're using the brownies which are 3000 milliamp hour batteries the way Brian is using right now you would put 3000 there in your, yeah. in your while, you're, while you're talking Mike I'm gonna actually screen share and Very good. I'm gonna take us into eScribe because I just plugged in my DNA 200 mm-hmm and we're going to walk everybody through it right now. Yes. Because it can be a little bit confusing. Are you guys seeing, very, are you guys, very easy. Are you guys seeing my screen here? Yeah, we see you. All right. So it detected that I have an Evolve DNA 200 device in here. I'm going to hit OK. It's downloading my settings. I got some custom logos going today. Vape Life, Eat, salt Sleep, salt. Eat, Sleep, Vape, Repeat. They look great. Yeah. I, d I didn't make them. I downloaded them. What do you think, BK? They look good? I don't see them. <laughs> I just see Brian. Oh. oh. That's all I see. I asked you if I was screen sharing. Oh, no. You asked, can you see me? I said, yeah, I see you. Oh, thanks for the support, <laughs> homies. <laughs> all right. Well, I feel like a dick now. Three hours later. Thanks, Mike. All right. Can we see me now? Can we see the eScribe now? Yes, we can. Okay, so there's the the new custom decal. So eat, sleep, vape, repeat. Vape life. I was just playing around, but look at all these ones that I found. There's a whole your, entire... Uh, your decals are not showing up. They're cut off. Yeah, but oh, it's too small to really even see it. All right, fuck it. Can you uh, enlarge it? Look, oh, there it is, right there. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So these are the two that I got. But I also got, if I hit load, can you guys see all these? Yep. Yeah. There's suck my mod ones. I was a little upset there was no Mike Vapes, Buck Kickers, the Vape Team, or the Vapor Chronicles. But there was some Grim Armies, the you know, the real the real deal motherfuckers in the game. Old school. Um From where? This was, let me give a shout out to the site, hold on. You're talking about uh, DNA, uh, yeah. DNA 200 themes? Yeah, no, it was uh, Evolve Vapor Forums, chitchat.com. And it was uh, a post, show off your custom screens. But the cool thing was they linked my Vapor Shark DNA 200 video on how to make them, because that's what I did in my eScribe section. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people use that and, and were we're grateful, so I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, let's go over here to the mod screen, and you can see here, now this is what was confusing. Under battery, it says type. It says lithium polymer. Mm -hmm. Now, are the batteries that I have in there lithium polymer? Technically, uh, all batteries are lithium polymer. Oh, they are? Yes. 
but they sh they have to. Someone was saying that they should actually change it, not to confuse people. Like that's where you would leave that lithium, lithium polymer. Okay, that's what I was told on the forums. So Daniel's commenting in the comment section. Please don't do that easy way. Do the whole calibration to have the real values on the batteries. Of course, you need to let the device doing that overnight with a resistance attached at 40 watts. Huh? I think I he's know. talking to somebody else. I think he's talking about down here the battery light analyzer. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, that's different. But, yeah. Anyway, you keep so reading. Is, that, is the battery analyzer like a more efficient way of calibrating it? That's what it looks like Daniel's saying. Yeah, I'm going by the guys at the on the on the forums. What they were telling me has to be done with the three cell battery. I actually did it, but I wanted to confirm and I took a picture of what I did and they said that I did it right. But uh, there's something you have to change, which I'll show you when you go into the battery uh, section. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I think I think Daniel just said the battery analyzer, that one. So you do it overnight, and it, and it comes up with actual real statistics for that specific batteries that you're using, not just what's on the on the label, because yeah. they can be wrong, which I agree with. But right. for this quick, for this little quick and easy, we're gonna just do this. So it says three cell, right? Yep. And the capacity click is. On, click on um, one hour calculator. But don't I have to put the capacity in first? No, nah, you don't have to do that. That's that's where it's preset at eight. So you're gonna click on watt hour calculator. Okay. Do you know the total voltage? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Battery cell is. Did you click on watt hour calculator? Yeah, I'm in there right now. Oh, it doesn't show it on our screen that you're in there. Oh, okay. It says battery cell capacity in ma, so it's gonna be three thousand. Yeah. You want to drop your screen back down to one touch? Hold on one sec. I have to finish this. So the voltage is going to be 3.7, right? But you don't have to do it. Well, I don't even know what you're doing right because we can't see what you're doing. Nominal pack voltage. Yeah. Lower your screen. Do it the way you had it earlier. All right. Hold on. You know, so the, the box that pops up is not showing up. Can you see it now? Yeah, click on watt hour calculator. That's what I did. It's not oh, okay. It's not showing us that. Okay, Just hold on. Let me go back to here. Yeah. Let me go back to here, and then I'm gonna screen share the entire screen so you guys can see the porn that I have up. Cool. All right, there we go. There we go. Let me maximize and watt hour calculator. There you go. Yes. Uh, click. Okay. Right, just write 3,000 right there. Yep. Okay. What about nominal pack voltage? Oh, it's mine a, never said that. It's not 11.1. .1, it's 3.7, isn't it? BK? No, it's 11.1 .1 volts. No, nominal would be <clears throat> the average discharge of it, which would be on the low side. So that would be whatever the three are combined. So that's going to be 11 something. Yeah, it's 11.1. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. Then we're good. 33.3 watt hours. Yes. First, yes. And then we're done, right? No. Uh, what does it say for right under it? Cell uh, cutoff? Cell soft cut. Is that what it says? Yeah. What does the number say there? 3.09 volts. Okay, make it 3.40. Okay. That's it. Done. Now, if, let me ask you this. If I, settings. Oh. if I go to the theme and I hit save theme, does it save every single screen setting? Yeah. If you just upload it, everything that's there will upload to your device. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, upload it. There you go. Well, no, I know that. I was just wondering, like, say I had three devices that all had the same batteries in them. Oh, when you put the new new device on it, it's gonna be a total different. You gotta redo every device. You have to do it separately. Right. Yeah, I was it just wondering fresh. if you could, yeah. I wonder if you could save the profile for everything. Well, you could 
I think you could save it. I think the new update. You have to re-update your uh, firmware, your software for uh, eScribe. Sorry. Yeah. There's a new, there's a new update up. Hmm. I have it to automatically update. Oh, so you might have. Is it? Do click on help and click about eScribe. You got three point five or something like that. One point zero. Point three two. No, you got the old version. Hmm. Yeah, on mine, as, as long as you choose the same profile, it's going to give you the same settings. Yeah. I just I just did the new one today. Yeah. So another feature that there's here, Brian, is uh, go on your first page of the eScribe, the first tab. What is it again? All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to invite Daniel in here real quick, okay? Do you guys mind? No, I don't care. Do it. If he wants to, obviously. All right, what were we saying, Mike? Go back on uh, the first uh, tab. Are you still on eScribe? Yeah. Screen share. All right. Well, actually, forget it. You can't. You have to re-update. I'm, I'm sorry. You have to update your whole... Uh, up, you have to update your... Uh, what do you call it? Your eScribe. My eScribe? Yeah, okay. it's not on there. It's not going to be on there. On yours. It would be under general. See what general is? Tab? Yeah. You click on general. Uh huh. And uh, it would be on the bottom. No, no, I'm sorry, not general. Themes. My bad. And it would Down be the all the way to the bottom. See, you don't have uh, all the way in the bottom of the box that pops up. That's only on the new, uh, the update. What, what does it say? You could change your, uh, your wattage. You know the way we do it right now, it's in 0.1 increments. You could set yeah. it to either 0.5 or at 0.1 watt to scroll. Okay. So I set mine like at 0.5, and it's so much better that way. You know? Like, for example, yeah. you see here on mine, if I press the button once, I'm going 0.5 increments now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's better that you know it takes it's better that way. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Daniel's Pinky. like shit, I was trying to relax and have a vape and I don't want to be on the show. <laughs> so Pinky, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the the DNA quantum since the first I gotta be honest, you know, after after I uh, took a little time, I dove into eScribe, which to be honest with you, from the get-go, eScribe is super easy. It's self-explanatory. I mean, if you're even mildly computer literate, you're not going to have a problem with it. Um, everything just it works seamlessly. Uh, as far as this goes in general, I mean, right off the bat, I, I, I love it. I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, there's a, there's a whole lot of people out at, watching right now that are feeling really less than... <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, it's it's great. It's fantastic. And you guys know I like vaping mech mods and stuff. But like, the power delivery on this is awesome. The customization in eScribe is fucking amazing. And the price of these things, I mean, these aren't bad. I mean, this thing is on not the highest end, but middle to the higher end. These are like what, one hundred and seventy nine dollars now on uh, on uh, one seventy. I think. Yeah, like 170, 180 bucks. 180, I'm not and you sure. You have all, all this customization. I mean, it's fucking amazing. But you can get them cheaper. I mean, I've seen DNA 200s out there for 120 bucks. Yeah. Why wouldn't you do it? You know? It's unreal. Uh, yep. You know, even if, you're not into, even if you're not into temperature control, I'm not a big temp control guy. Obviously, I'm going to dabble with it now because I want to learn this thing. But. You know, like I said, I, I vape mech mods, I vape series mods, stuff like that. The power you get off the DNA 200 is just fucking mind blowing. I mean, it's yeah. mind blowing. It goes smooth, and it, it's just true wattage. You know, I set this thing up to 160 watts. I could barely vape it. It was that fucking hot, and I vape it like 0.05. You know. Yeah. But I mean, it, it just it delivers in every way imaginable. It's fantastic. I love it. Yep. I think that's what excites a lot of people that 
that wanted the power. Um, one of the only limitations that I've seen from the LiPo pack versions is the uh, 9 volt limit that they have. Whereas with the 318650 version, I think it's like 11.9 volts or something like that. Yeah, all, all the LiPos are 11.1 volts. All no, three. not out. Nine. Which one? All of them. Oh, well, mine are all 11.1, everything I have. Hold on, Mike. I think you're misunderstanding. I'm talking about using, being able to hit uh, 200 watts with certain resistance coils. You're limited because oh. 9 volts Nine volts is the limit oh. to what it will give you out. I think, yeah, if I'm so right. If, if you're, if you're going to take like a higher resistance build and try to hit Daniel. 200. You know. Hello. What's up, brother? Not much. That, <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming on. I'm sure you were banging your head on the keyboard watching us. <laughs> no, no, that, that's that's fine. No, you, you are you are right that way. But of course, if you run the other way, you will be more accurate and not running into, for example, battery percentage problems, uh, cells with different voltages. Uh, it's those are the results of my testings. I, I, I have been testing this guy. By the way, the battery of this guy is a piece of crap. But anyway, <laughs> I have been testing this guy with uh, a big and more um, uh, better quality LiPo battery connected directly into the board mm -hmm. and also with three 18650 batteries. Um, and that way, doing the battery calibration or the battery analyzer, you get different values and better accuracy on the battery and on the ramp up and on general performance. Good. I, I can show you, for example, the settings I have on my hot seat because I run the, let me think, yeah, I have the, the, the hot seat run into the, the battery analyzer. So this one was the value I got with the battery analyzer, the real value, okay, not 9.9 .9 how you should have, and this is the curve. But of course now I can save the CSV and send to you for your hot seat, um, but yeah, it's a totally different value the value you get with the battery analyzer. Of course, you need to let it do its thing all over the night with um, a nice build attached to it because it will become hot. Okay, maybe a Clapton coil. I, I did the test with the Clapton coil all over the night mm -hmm. and I got those values. Is it safe to let that go overnight when you're not monitoring it? Uh, yeah, I, I left the entire device inside of a Pyrex <laughs> of a Pyrex cup. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, for those settings, uh, that's for if you're vaping like over 150 watts, 200 watts to be on the safe side, right? Yeah, yeah. And of course, vaping, if you are vaping if you're low. Vaping 60 yeah. watts, 70 watts, 80 watts, it doesn't Yeah, it, it, matter. it matters on the battery percentage. Okay. You will, for example, on this guy, I was getting strange behaviors. Uh, the, the board saying at 15% saying weak battery, no atomizer, weak battery, no atomizer. This Strange what behaviors mean? like that. Uh, when I reached 15% of the battery, uh -huh. I, I, I always started to have those strange behaviors. Weak right. battery and no atomizer or verify atomizer, something like that. Weak battery, no atomizer. At 15% now with the the real testing, the the battery analyzer, uh, I can go all the way down to zero percent, even even being this device a crappy battery, but that's totally different thing. Right, I right. can go all the way down to zero percent. I got you. The only frustrating part would be like if you're using eighteen six fifties, you should probably go out and buy six six batteries that are brand new, pair yeah. them to the device, and only rotate through those batteries for the device. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's for the Wismac. Yeah. Yeah, for uh, the Wismac. Yeah, I'm I'm excited with that one also. 
Well, I know this. It's been a fucking blast to be able to vape this device all day long and still have yes. battery life. I mean, it's it's epic. Yeah, I, agree. I have a question for you, Daniel. Sure. I uh, just recently Why had the, the updated uh, DX. Yeah. I and have the, the battery of the upgraded one. Okay. Now, I noticed this. I set um, on my screen... Mm -hmm. I set it for it to say battery percentage on the bottom. Like yeah, like I have on mine. Yeah. Right. Should when I plug this right. in, when I plug in actually the other one, yeah, the charge, it'll show it's charging and then the screen will dim and shut off. On Ooh, this one, that's strange. Why they all do that when you're charging? Yeah, mine it doesn't stay mine on. Mine does that as well. Yeah. You you said sh uh, shut off or not shut off? Yeah, the screen goes off. Oh, okay. I understood. Not shut off. Sorry. Yeah, the screen is. Uh, yeah. It goes to dims, sleep. Dims, dims, and now it turns off. Yeah. Yeah, dims and turns off. Now, with the new one, hmm. it starts to dim and it stays dim. It doesn't shut off. And the battery, uh, where it says the voltage, it says hmm. ampage. Pops oh up. no! Oh, but charging. That, yeah, that's that. That's a sign of a, a thing I. I have been pissed with those companies because I think that battery analyzer, even the 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 last test on that on that eScribe e e page, the last test is the the temperature dissipation of the mod, the battery analyzer and the temperature dissipation of the mod. I think they should be done by the manufacturer, and I I, I don't I don't agree with people buying mods and then need to to spend two nights or. Um, 20 around 20 hours doing those two tests, yeah. but that 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 you are saying now that means that Hot Sig is actually tweaking their boards, and they are messing up with this thing. Yeah. So they the the Hot Sig should come here with the. Um, the amperage, as I, ha I, I, I have the amperage, the current, when charging, because I put the amperage on mine. So HotSig is doing that to, on yours, and maybe changing the, the charging brightness to 100%, or the fade-out time to never, for example. Maybe that's why. Yeah, but this, this happens. This is weird. I don't, I don't know if you understood what I was saying. It's right now on the screen. It's telling me my ohms, my voltage, and my percentage. Yeah. Okay. When I plug it in, it'll say all that. The screen yeah. will dim, and then like after a minute or two, the screen switches. It's to all different settings on there. It shows the oh, amperage. That's not normal. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, because if the the screen completely completely turns off, it was not supposed to turn on again. So maybe yeah, some. This one doesn't turn off when I'm charging it. The screen will dim and stay dimmed, and I could see it on, and I could see it uh, charging, but yeah. my percentage, where it says on the bottom, my percentage yeah. vanishes from there. Yeah. And the where it says voltage, it shows ampage. Yeah. And, and I think, but I, I think that, system. I think that's a similar behavior. The behavior you have on your board is a similar behavior to Juicy Jones. I don't know if you know Juicy Jones yeah. from the G Spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He, his hot seek DX200 is doing crazy things when charging. When it when it's charging their device, uh, his device when it's charging above 70%, I think it starts to blink the screen and it shuts down the screen and then shuts on, uh, turns on the screen again. It's doing all those kinds of stuff. Right. So I'm gonna I do actually I'm have gonna the batteries on mine. I'm gonna switch them to see if it's the battery creating it or if it's the board. Yeah, I, I believe I believe it's the it's the board that has the USB messed up or the actual balance port uh, wrongly sold for it. Mm. Yeah. But it's it charged it fine. It charges it. Yeah, Ju Juicy Jones told me the same. It charges fine, but when charging he has a bunch of glitches. Yeah. Those Chinese companies are messing with the uh, the evolved board. That's why it's 150 bucks for this. Yeah. yeah. And the battery, I, I I purchased separate separately a spare battery, 
Okay, I have now two berries, mm -hmm. and I purchased for twenty three bucks, and then they were selling on another places for twenty five, and now the the spare battery is forty five. For yeah, they raised a fast tech to forty five dollars. Yeah, forty five for a piece of crap hot fire battery inside. Yeah. <laughs> I like that device too. I love using it. That that's what I just told on my review. I just smashed the company, even on even with Skype conversations. I just smashed the company, but I love the device. God damn. Yeah, I love the device. And and in my opinion, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure the battery, and I'm gonna purchase a decent battery and solder inside of this housing. But that's just me. And, yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Because I love the device. It's, it's one of the best. Anyway, thanks for having me in. <laughs> All right, Daniel. Well, thanks for coming. Bye, buddy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, can hang out. Bye. you can hang out and show with us till the end, my friend. No, my no. device is doing it right now. I don't know if you noticed, but I gave you a, uh, a shout-out on my battery rewrap video the other day. Yeah. Uh, someone told me, but I have your video uh, on the queue to watch. Oh, maybe dude, this week. don't even worry. I know you're getting busy, and I'm busy too. <laughs> I don't have time to watch. There's like 50,000 people I care about, and 50,000 people I like to watch videos for, and I don't have time anymore. It's so sad. Yeah, I have over over 600 emails to answer, around yeah. 200 messages on Facebook. Yeah, it, it has been. Uh, it, uh, it, and especially because of the DNA, okay. Most of the questions nowadays are because of the DNA board. Yeah. The, I, I think Evolve should pay us uh, the commission <laughs> for all that, the, the that work. And uh, can these coils fit in this tank? I get those uh, questions all the time. There should be a um, like a a place to go where it's just one chart and it has every single tank listed and then what. Coils are compatible with that tank, and it would be like a vapor's resource. Well, if anybody wants to know that question, contact Billy at Vaping Heathen. He'll answer it for you. <laughs> Every coil, some of them, where they go. He's a yeah, knows every single coil. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and if anybody wants any product reviewed, uh, contact Billy because he seems to love taking in. He, he has stuff that I've never even heard of on his channel. It's amazing. Uh, that's right. Uh, I, I have been saying no to companies, so <laughs> yeah. I really don't care about that anymore. Now, he might not get ones with rubbers with them, <laughs> but... <laughs> I forgot about those devices. <laughs> you had to know you were going to get fucked, Mike. This shit came with a rubber. Oh, man. When's that review dropping? It's good for the lift. <laughs> good for the lift. Oh, I love it. Vape safe. Ah. Uh. Oh, now, sorry for... All there. Saw that off, everybody. Saw that off. Sorry for a different point, but any one of you got the, the knee box? You oh. son of a bitch. Bye. Yeah, mine's, <laughs> mine's going to be here tomorrow, I think. Man, I'm okay. loving this this guy. Loving I got it. tracking numbers like a day and a half ago. Now, yeah, Daniel, I, I got... have a question for you for sure. this device. What coil do you use? I'm using now the RBA with the titanium coil. No, what regular coils does it use? The regular oh, Kanger coils? Yeah, no, the, the, their coils now are just round coils. They are cylindrical, but they are, the coils are interchangeable with the, the old ones. You can use here the old ones, the oh. new ones on the older devices. Yeah, they are interchangeable. The RBA section is actually the same. I have here the RBA with the titanium course of uh, coil, of course. I'm an RBA type of guy, as you can see. Yep. Okay. And 10 mils of capacity. Man, <laughs> this thing is a beast. a beast. Now, is it true that it has a plastic tank with no adjustable airflow? The tank seems to be plastic, yeah. And no adjustable airflow at all. It's right open. See, I like wide open. I don't care. I mean, I yeah. don't review stuff just for me, though, because there's a lot of people out there that like adjustable airflow. Is there any way you could put something in the airflow to block it to give you a tighter draw? 
that's the idea I'm giving on my quick look video that it's now uploading. Uh, oh. I'm giving. I'm, I'm giving, recording one right now. <laughs> I'm giving them the idea of having a screw inside and different adapters with different uh, diameter holes. Yeah, good idea. Where you can screw it in. And have your airflow on it. I don't care, as I'm going to say on the quick look video, I don't care about the airflow, but that's my own opinion because the sub tank, I, I like to run the sub tank um, right open, okay, completely open, and it's just the same airflow I have in here with the RBA section. I don't care, but uh, I gave that idea. I hope they they can do it because it could actually be a good moth to lung device with a right. tight that's, hole. That's a con on a device because a lot of yeah. people that are using yeah. sub tanks or mouth to lugging, mouth to yeah. lung, and they're gonna want to buy that thinking that they could. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to. I know a lot of people, a lot of friends that have the sub tank, and they mouth to lung on the tiniest hole. Yeah. 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 So Daniel, uh, when you got, when you got, get get back in there, Gib. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't no What's going on in that basement with him? It's a dog. Get back in your cage. <laughs> That's actually a closet. Okay. Oh man. And the the other little con is the fact that it mutes a little bit the flavor. Maybe because of the length. Pulled out my headphones. Sorry about that. What did he say? I was. Me or Brian? No, Brian. He pulled out the headphones. Oh. Also, oh, it mutes the flavor. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Maybe because the <laughs> the length. He wrote the gimp got out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, size wise, can you compare it to a device for us? Yeah, the hot, the hot for example, is the other, the only one I have in here because I'm on my job. And it's almost the same in tall. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it's thinner. It's a 22 point something or 23 point something device. Uh, I can show you on the bottom. Nice. Yeah. Now, temperature control. Have you had uh, any issues? No, at all. I already ran out of, of juice once today and with the titanium coil, and it did its job. I'm not pretty sure if I can do my all testing on this one because it's everything enclosed. Maybe I do the testing with the device completely apart. I don't know, but it's regulating and shutting down the vape, so it's doing its, its job. I haven't had it. I'm gonna miss it because my I, when I shut the gimp back in the closet, I pulled my headphone uh, cord out. But Daniel, uh, accessing the interior of the device—is your screws holding that thing together? Have you looked inside of it yet? Have you taken it apart yet? No, I didn't yet. But I, I hope it, it, they are just those four screws. Okay. I'm I'm interested to see how the how the uh, plastic tank connects. Yeah, and maybe a third I, I, party, even if Kanger doesn't do it, maybe a third party will come up with a glass tank. I'm also interested to see if it is actually plastic because it feels like plastic, but also feels like glass, so I'm not pretty sure. <laughs> maybe I, I need to break it. <laughs> do they give you a spare a spare one? No, no, you you cannot remove the tank. So I, I didn't find any way to remove the tank yet. Okay. Because if I look inside, there is anything here that I can take apart. No. How beautiful is this world first from Portugal to the States to the vape team, any box, Kanger Tech? <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. You're welcome. I have to say I'm quite excited for that thing. I was, actually. I was, and I'm loving this guy. Really? Well, that's cool because BK loves lots of guys. <laughs> I will not confirm nor deny. <laughs> 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 Yo, you son of a.
<laughs> that was my wife trying to scare me through the window. My heart just... First the wife, then the gimp. Here's the swim. My heart can't take this. <laughs> wow. Oh. He hit that at 200 for me. No. Do 200. I can't. I don't have anything here to do 200. The Buddha's on the shelf somewhere. I gotta put new cotton in it. Fuck it, I'll do it right now. Yeah. Here we go. You gonna we're gonna fresh it's drill. Gonna burn your fucking cotton. More than likely. You know what? I'll do it too. Fuck it. I already dry hit once on the show, but I kept it on the DL because I felt oh, stupid. I had, the, I had the airflow closed are off again. Are we going to do this simultaneously, or how are we going to do this here? Uh, whatever. We can do it multiple times for multiple angles. Well, here we go. 200 watts, folks. There we go. 200 watts. Shit, I don't have anything here. Nice. No that, was, that was a freaking Brian dry hit right there on a saturated RDA. Oh, man. Oh, you see it. <laughs> it almost did. I've done it. It's good for Sorry, like a half second pull. Sorry, I don't have here currently with me anything that I can run at 200 watts. You could probably do a Nautilus with those old synthetic coil uh, wicking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is wet enough to dry hit in about th three seconds. All right, let me turn this bitch up. I might need to get that. I might need to have the gimp grab the fire extinguisher if shit goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> His suit, that leather suit he wears, is flame retardant. We we call nine one one. Okay. <laughs> You know that feeling when you know shit's about to go wrong? I have that right now. All right, 200 watts. This building here is a .25. Oh, you're definitely burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're definitely going to scorch it. Who's right, gonna let's do it post fire. Well, make sure you put some liquid on it now. There, there is liquid on there. No, put some on it now. You just burned off. No, it's still wet. I overdripped. Let's do it. Now, these are Clapton's, though. So, all right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I, I didn't drive it. I was, I was blowing out. It's, dude, flaming this on is like cooking over a hot stove. I feel like I have hot oil sp spitting out and hitting me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag commitment. Out for days. Nice. Let's go again. <laughs> that was a long try. <laughs> oh. mm. Alrighty, I'm finished. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm building up quite a sweat over here. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> All right. So I have to say that the battery life on this little fella is pretty impressive if you've had the 900 milliamp hour uh, devices. It's not, I mean, the 1300s do make a, a nice difference. Don't you think, Mike? Uh, thirteen hundred is awesome. Mine right now, like I, I had this fully charged and I've been vaping it for, I don't know. How long have I been vaping this? Oh no, this is from yesterday too, vaping. So I didn't charge it overnight. But not thirteen hundreds. I think thirteen hundred and more. I think is the lowest. 
Yeah, nine hundred is too low. Nine hundred and a thousand, eleven hundred. Those are too low. You need at least thirteen. This one, the hot seat, how I'm running a stainless steel coil, a dual coil on the velocity deck of this guy, on temperature control with the preheat at 100 watts and the watt the, and 80 watts. I can do two pulls. Uh, I can vape two times for each 1% of the battery. <laughs> yeah, you can actually watch it drain. When I yeah. use the when I use the volcano lava box, like if I'm dripping and I have it like at 100 watts, I could just use like a five milliliter little dripper bottle, and as soon as that juice is done, the battery's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty pathetic. Mike, uh, I'm willing to offer you a trade, and I think it's a fair trade. No. <laughs> what you don't like my trades? Nope. Why? <laughs> Tell me. I'm gonna give you. This Herpes. well, that's a given. He already has that. <laughs> we all got it from you last summer, BK. Oh wait a oh, minute! Gosh. I know, I know what the trade is. He wants this. Right. No, right off the bat. Well, listen. You have to listen <laughs> no, to the trade. I, I want to hear the offer. You are correct because I do want that. I might say yes. Uh, I will. I will give you this. Uh huh. Okay. I will even coat it with. Uh, no, I wouldn't want it coated, but anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm also offering in this trade a pretty much min condition SMY 35. You know what? I'll take. Hold on, I'm not finished. I'm okay. not finished. I'm also going to give you a choice of a black or a silver Coupour Mini with rubber shell. Look. I'll do the trade without that stupid uh, DNA 200. I want the SMY 35. I want the Hooper, the one with the scratches all over it that you dropped a few times. I want okay. that one. And some of that Mountain Baker vapor juice that you have in your uh, cabinet. Right here, Moo Juice, half, half go. gone. It's there been go. steeping for nine months. Deal. You got it. You heard that, ladies and gentlemen. Done. Freaking deal. Yeah. Now, now I got to tell you what I'm giving you in exchange for that. What are you giving me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Mike. Huh. I have to say. Yeah, I'm giving you this. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we've run out of time. It's been awesome. Daniel from Portugal. Why don't you tell everybody who you are, where you're from, and what you're all about? So, hello guys, I'm Daniel from DJLSB Vibes YouTube channel, or DJLSB Labs YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, Mike and Brian like to call, and, and now also Phil Bussardo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I do some reviews. I try to be as technical as I can. Uh, it's what I like to do. It's what I know to do. So, I hope you enjoy my channel. I yeah. enjoy it. I think it's great. Hell yeah. lots, of, lots of details, thorough as fuck. You spend a ton of time. And the fact that you could right. do it not in your native language is even that much more inspiring to me. And uh, it's great to have you in the community and have you another one of the bros. Thank you very much. So thanks, I'm man. just glad for help. We're glad to have you, bro. BK, want to say goodbyes? Well... Thanks, everyone, for uh, putting up with my drunken nonsense yet another night. And, uh, Daniel, it was a pleasure having you on the show. I, I, I'm a huge fan of yours. You're a great guy, and I appreciate all the hard work that you put into everything you do. So thanks, Daniel, for coming on tonight. Thanks. My pleasure. <laughs> Mikey Vapes, why don't you... Uh... Hit that shit for us to close the session. Eight butts. Vape for life. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>